What's up? This is uh, the Getting Groovy the show with Connor that I talk and you listen. Uh, right now, I'm in the studio, hot off of a uh, drive here, and it's it's been it's been good. The air conditioning. I mean, it's heat, but it's on. Um, today's guest, we have a guest. We do things on this show where we have guests and speak to them. Today's show, we have uh, a very special guest. He is a uh, an artist, if you will. He uh, uses his larynx and other vocal cords and uh, also is just generally pleasing to be around. So, of uh, the Ivy League Collective... Give it up for Will Rafter, everybody. Will Rafter. <laughs> nice no, applause. It's applause. But if you want it, I mean, we can... <laughs> <laughs> there was laughter in there. Ooh. We don't have headphones though. Good What's up, Will? Howdy. How are you? How are you? I'm well. You're well. That's good. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. This is uh, it's called getting groovy. Formerly in the groove, but this guy didn't uh, think to check before I actually produced the podcast. <laughs> so we'll, we'll change it. We'll see. Who knows? Yeah, we didn't really check either when we made uh, Ivy League. Yeah. We just <laughs> it came to a real shock. That sounds cool. It was a real shock for us when right. we found other schools. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I feel like I have heard of those, but it might have slipped my mind if you were like... Like, you know, in the session, like you guys yeah. are in like a circle, like it's almost like a seance, but you're like shouting names at each other. True. And you're like, the boys. And you're like, that's a show. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know. That's a show that's going to be coming out very soon. Yeah, yeah, you you made. <laughs> <laughs> when we made it back in yeah. fucking, I don't even know, 2018, 2018, 2017. Yeah, but it's been a ride. I don't know if people know this, but you've been in some of my work. The The footage is there. On the YouTube channel, yes, the Mink Blot YouTube channel. If you're on it, um, amazing work. Yeah, I try. I don't know. Sometimes it's less than great, but you know. <laughs> Sometimes it's more than good. That's, and that's what we're searching for. But you, you're usually a factor in that. So thank you. Thank you. I do. Ooh, that's a double. That's a double. Thank you. Can you jinx a thank you? Is that, like, thank? I feel like thanking. Is generally like a nice like thing, but Jinx is like, ha fuck you. So like, <laughs> if you both said thank you, and then you go Jinx, yeah, is it Jinx? Like, give me a kiss. Give me <laughs> like, what? Right now, right here. COVID or not, but you know, we're just we're just getting groovy. That's that's what this podcast is. I don't know if I've told you anything about it, but that's we don't really have like prompts or anything. There's no movie. We're not yeah. talking about... We've done some podcasts in the past. We've done... True. If you want to check out the Minkblot Filmcast, they, they might be up still. Um, Somewhere. Child's Play, we went to go see, and then we saw Ready <laughs> or Not. Child's Play. Yeah, that was great. Interesting. Those, those are in the archives. It was in this room, in this yeah, well, similar was, setup. Okay. That was a good time. Damn. Oh, the mic. If you want, you want to hold it, you can yeah, if I'll you want. It. Okay. Yeah, you can... We're you can move that out of the way. We're doing it live. We do it live. If you want to spit hot fire, that's, I don't know if this is the, the scene for it. The producers didn't tell me I had to prepare for <laughs> style, so I didn't, okay. I didn't bring any material. Okay, good. I mean, I'm honestly, if you did, I would have been excited, but I'm not <laughs> surprised. Yeah. Because, I mean, I probably wouldn't have, you know. But other than that, what's a... Uh, so what's what's going on when you're 2021? How's your how's your year been so far? Give me the synopsis. Man, dolls a uh, 13, I believe it's 13 days of it. Yeah. Hmm. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, it's, that sounds fun. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, Are you sure you can like fit all that in your day? No. 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 It usually drags on. You'd say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, about that, about that much, I'd say. You know what? I, I, well, I respect it. So, I mean, depending on how you want to live your life, sometimes it's just the way to do it. Yeah. You know, it's just like that. It's just kind of something similar to, yeah. Yeah, in that area. Yeah, right there. Okay. Well, I'm glad at least you're willing to share that. I know that could be personal yeah, for some people. All of these 13 days doing next to nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, you got to recharge. It's, I feel like there's an excuse. 
you get an excuse now with New Year's res like New Year's resolutions. Like there, there was a lot of bad things that happened last year. So the resolution is to just like mitigate more bad things. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's a good overall humanity resolution. But I mean, I could be wrong. It's actually crazy because uh, I found out that I have this disease called discla disclatronic. Yeah. Discla dis what is it? How disclatronic. Do you can you spell that? Yeah. D I S C. Okay. L. I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. I. It's, it's not a <laughs> laughing matter. I mean. I know. That's why I'm like I'm. I apologize. T R O N I C. <laughs> All right. And what is that? What is that? Mean? I just don't sleep. Uh, instead of sleeping, I just stand in my room and <laughs> wait till the sun comes up. <laughs> like staring out the window, or is it anywhere in your room? Like, is there a specific area of your room? Just to the closest heat source. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what is, how, how long has this been affecting you? Is this, it my sounds very life. serious. Your entire <laughs> life. My entire life. Have you ever laid down in a bed? No. In your, never? My room's just empty. Oh, okay. So you just have like. I mean, I have my PlayStation on the floor. And yeah. My TV on the floor and. <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh again. I just, it's, I was thinking of a joke. No, yeah. It's, I mean, it's not that funny, but. <laughs> It's kind of serious. Yeah, I mean, you never even thought of like a chair. Have you ever sat in a chair? Have you ever? Is this their first time? This is around my third or fourth time. <laughs> this is the third chair you've sat in. Yeah. Could you rank it? Could you rank the chairs? Like, what are your other chair times? So there was a Dyson uh, three fifty. That's expensive. Yeah. Those are high class chairs. Yeah. Are you there in New was, York? Uh, New York City? Yeah. Okay. And then the two. I, I, I figured. Actually, five times I've sat in a chair. Uh, five one, times? When we went to see Child's Play. Oh, right. <laughs> when we went to see Ready or Not. No, I thought and Ready or Not, you were just standing the whole time. <laughs> just staring oh, at the you're screen. Oh, you're right. I, I you was were, just standing. You, know, you didn't sit that time. Yeah. That was... <laughs> but uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, too. Right. right, right I had right. to sit in the front. <laughs> I mean, that was a long movie. <laughs> After a while, I'm sure yeah. you would have, like... Like, have you ever gone into a situation and you're like, I mean, I'm obviously not going to sit here because I don't. Generally, yeah. usually when I walk into a classroom, I'm like, right, I'm not sitting in here, <laughs> so I just stand in front of the class. It sounds like you're a teacher, it sounds like you got hired to be a teacher of a class. Oh, no, I usually just stand next to the professor, uh, look over their notes. What you know. grade, which grade is this? College grade, Co <laughs> 13th grade, yeah, college. 13th to 15th grade, yeah, somewhere in there. I mean, they're those are kids get it though. They're like they're sta you're standing next to the professor and they're like I mean that's he obviously has dysclomorph <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah what is it which one was it again I forgot but <laughs> memory loss comes with insomnia so. right 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 because we to recap you haven't sat slept you've this is the fifth time you've sat down yeah it's actually okay. a debilitating disease okay so. I mean we can move on if you don't want to like fully yeah, get into it it is a sensitive uh subject and yeah. i'm upset that you brought it up but i'm i'm sorry i, I mean i brought it up <laughs> yeah I, i'm pretty sure you did bring it up but i will okay. still apologize because i'm cordial i appreciate I'm, it this is supposed to be comfortable this environment mm -hmm. so if you're not ever if you're not at all comfortable let me know what i can do get you water yeah you might need some later because you yeah, could you grab me a bottle of water? Because <laughs> I think you might run out if this conversation goes for too long. Yeah, and that's then, true. Or if, like, someone comes in, like, like there's an intruder, and I'm like, oh, shit. I mean, it, it, like, I have the microphone stand, so I can't, like, do true. anything. So you just chuck that bad boy. Just give him a good clonk. Honestly. Yeah. Treat him like the, the kids treated the Joker at the beginning of that movie. Just like run up and just like take his sign. Like if a intruder comes in with a sign, take his sign, break it, and then run away. When you said that, I thought of Heath Ledger's Joker. Okay, no, and yeah. I was like, did he get beat up by kids in that movie? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I should have thought about that during the Joker. Is like, if the first thing you see is the Joker be beat up by children, that's what <laughs> a teenagers. bitch. What a bitch Joker. Like, are you like honestly? I mean, obviously, the movie's about that sort of, like, what yeah. happens to a person that'll drive him there. Yeah. But, like, fucking hell, man. Are you? Was he always that much of a bitch? Like... I don't know. I, I mean, don't remember in the comics. I mean, teen... Like, like tweens. 
like did like between like the twelve year olds that will watch Kids Choice Awards ran up and just took just took a sign. I mean, I don't know if there was a Kids Choice Awards in that universe. I don't know because I feel like this. You new think Gotham Joker... Gotham hosted the Kids Choice Awards? <laughs> Gotham hosted. <laughs> Get slimed, uh, <laughs> Batman. I don't think this Joker was, yeah. like, based in, like, the whole superhero reality. Oh, okay. Because, like, well, I mean, just, like, from looking at it, like, obviously there's Bruce Wayne. But with this, like, normally you're used to seeing Joker be, like, a tactician mm-hmm. and, like, strong and, like, has some fighting ability. Right. You know? But in this one, he's kind of just, like, a really skinny dude yeah. with mental health issues mm-hmm. that are left unchecked and end up spiraling. So right. it's like... He's not even, like, super. No. Like, there's he, nothing... He literally just, like, just killed a, some people, and everyone was like, yeah, I mean... This fucking yeah, guy. That sounds like something I'd get into. Right. Yeah, yeah he's an agent of chaos. So yeah. that's, like, the whole thing of, like, just causing problems. And honestly, as an agent of chaos, he did a really good job at creating a controversial movie that a lot of people didn't like. And it caused a lot of chaos. So I think in the end, Joker did what it was trying to do by creating the chaos that the Joker is supposed to be representing, you know? I think in online message boards, in just conversations with my friends, it's just uh, chaos everywhere, honestly. Because at first glance, it's a good movie, honestly. And I liked it. And then you just keep watching it. You watch it twice, three times, and then you're like, "Mm." hmm. It just, like, keeps sinking. Yeah, after the second watch, I was kind of like, okay. It was filmed really well. Yeah. I was, think that that really does it. Everything looked amazing. Yeah. The colors. Yeah. Sound, soundtrack was awesome. I like soundtrack. It's funny. When I first saw it, I went with people from work. Yeah. And uh, did I they didn't... all just like turn to you and then they were like, is this he, is he <laughs> yeah. going to, is this your shit, white boy? <laughs> and I was like, after the movie, yeah. I was like, I looked at them and I was like, huh. Because you... <laughs> the stigma was already there, of, like every white person loving the movie. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that was, that was okay. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, huh, that, was, that was pretty good. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that, yeah, that's good. Because <laughs> I didn't Just want them to be like... Uncomfortable sweats. Yeah, I didn't want yeah. them to be like... Typical. This fight. <laughs> <laughs> typical white person. I mean, that's what we said was going to happen. Yeah. But, I don't know. What do you think did more for race relations? Get Out or The Joker? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He had interracial relationship in there. There was, was Zazie Beats. It was a figment of his imagination. It was, they were progressive. They put a black girl in there, and he thought she was attractive. So I liked the movie. I'm going to recount everything I said about it. That part, won, they won me over. <laughs> that part and, then like... the, and then when he walked into her apartment, and she's like, what the fuck are you? Yeah, she's like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing here? He's like, what? And then like, I, I thought we were dating. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the elevator with you once. Well, yeah, whenever a black girl laughs at a white kid's joke, and he's like, <laughs> she loves me. I'm, I'm complete. We're dating now. And then he has schizophrenic dates with her that aren't actually real. <laughs> yeah, she's in the hospital room with his dying mom. And he's like, <laughs> man... Imagine the nurse. Scene, oh man. my like, god! What the fuck is happening? He's like, <laughs> he's like, I don't think she's gonna make it. She's like, over he's like, thank you for being here. And it's like, uh, You're, do you want me to close the door? Should I? <laughs> but no, I think get out probably. Was, <laughs> you know, a lot better for. I think it was, yeah. <laughs> if either of those movies <laughs> even like, you know, <laughs> improved. Yeah. That. Well, I mean, hey, it's you just step in the right direction. I don't know if you have to take a leap. Like, it's like, like Neil Armstrong, like, you know, he didn't leap onto the moon. He took one small step. And that's what I think the Joker provided True. for race in our country. Baby steps. Yeah. And that's just a thesis I'm working on. I haven't fully, <laughs> like, ironed it out. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> it could change. But, God, I mean, next topic. Uh, do you want to get into, like, political news? Do you want to get into like yeah, we can. celebrity news? What do you want? I want to engage what you want. Let's go on to celeb gossip. Celeb gossip. So Kanye West. 
What happened? What's going on? What's what's with him? He's he's all. Did he get wackadoo and Kim he's got Kardashian? Got a new girlfriend. Is does he? Yeah, Jeffrey Star. <laughs> Already? Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, the internet links people up so quick nowadays. Like, it's crazy. It is wild. I mean, I didn't think those two were. I didn't think Kim was one for polygamy. But no. <laughs> it, it, I'm yeah. glad to see that she's accepting that. And right. Moving. Did you? But forward. did you hear that they're possibly? I don't know what's Are happening. They? From what I I've heard, I heard that's a thing. I've only the only news I know about that is yeah. seeing the Twitter jokes of <laughs> like Jeffrey Star hiding in their bedroom. <laughs> so, that's great. I mean, I, he, he's a he's a sneaky guy. You you expect that guy to make no noise when he enters a house? Like he's like tiptoes. Except the bones. Well, like no, what you hear together. Yeah, you'll hear like it's like almost like wind chimes, but yeah. if they were like as dense as bones, like yeah. the wind, like and then like yeah. <laughs> like you know, like like you a, hear something? I just put a wind chime in our room. <laughs> no, it's just Jeffrey Star in the closet. True. Yeah. The well, skeleton I mean, bones <laughs> from Minecraft. Just yeah. Do you think that means that it, is it is it offensive to put him in the closet in this hypothetical scenario as a in a symbolic sense? Am I stepping on toes that I shouldn't right now? Is uh, that would you say? I'm using you to gauge this. I mean, I'm not a part of the LGBT so Oh, that's true. If I, anyone anyone comments, if leave any comments if I'm ever offensive and then just let me know. Just if at all put the time code in there, I'll watch, you know. This is for you guys, and I mean, also, this is for me, because I don't want to get in, I don't want to be mean, I guess, to anyone, ever. I mean, I don't think that's, like, mean in, like, the... If Jeffree Star is in the closet, hypothetically, is that, like, is everyone going to be like, oh, of course you put him in the closet. <laughs> like, oh, like, oh why couldn't he be in the bathroom, you yeah, fucking... put the gay guy in the closet. You fucking son of a bitch. This is why we can't fucking do... My brother's gay, everyone. I hope... You... I... I'm going to just put that out there. You don't... don't look him up. Who knows? I don't care. He's probably fine <laughs> Don't with look this. him up on gays.com. <laughs> I don't think he's uh, created an account. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he made an account. He didn't that. make it. He didn't make it. He's... Uh... Let's let's move on from that because I don't yeah. want to talk about him. Yeah, let's not uh, <laughs> go any deeper into that. <laughs> Celebrity gossip. What is is this? How do we get from Kanye West to my brother? Uh, so, sure. do you have any? Do you have any news gossip? Celebrity gossip. gossip. What's what's been like the hard, hardest hitting story for you as of late? What would you put on your National Enquirer uh, front page if you had any? Oh, um, there is something I woke up to this morning. Uh, I saw a bunch of people tweeting about Belle Delphine. Okay, yeah. She did some weird ass shit. Yeah, like that. That's surprising. No, I'm, no, yeah. no, it's not surprising. That was no. sarcasm. We no, have yeah. fallen into a sarcasm. Yeah, <laughs> she like she done she done porn though. She did she a did, like, co- cosplay mm-hmm. where she was a little girl. Oh, oh. Oh, and uh, yeah, getting kidnapped, and I'll let you <laughs> imagine the rest. Okay, yeah. like, like, was she, was commerce involved? And I don't want to get too deep in. The, uh, do you know what I mean by yeah, that? Yeah. Okay, because that's a sensitive topic right it, now. Like fully, yeah. Like right now, I saw that, and I was like, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, no, like, that's... Why would you do that? I mean, we're talking about it. I mean, I'm not saying that she isn't getting clout. We're giving her the clout. But I, and scrolled, I, I, yeah. I scrolled through, like, post after post mm-hmm. after post of people being like me when I see Belle Delphine's, like, new post. And it's, like, just, like, emptiness. Like, yeah. oh, no. Yeah, yeah, just but, a sinking. Yeah, the pictures are gross as fuck. Yeah. It's, I didn't... I'm it's not... weird. Dude, I literally don't have... Twitter installed on my phone. Really? Because I'm like, I need to stop. Like, yeah. Like, I would like the news. It is kind of annoying not being like in the loop all the time. But I would honestly just see a bunch of stuff that would make me upset. And then I'm like, Ugh, why do? Why is the world like this? And then yeah. I like go on Instagram. Like, I would yeah. do the Twitter Instagram thing where you like go on Twitter for a while and you're like, this is sucks. And you go on Instagram and then yeah. you get bored of Instagram. Then you go back on Twitter and then you're like, everything's the same. My Twitter is such a contrast. Yeah. Like, 
a lot of it is the political news, like shit happening mm-hmm. with riots, debates, etc. Yeah, that's yeah, that's all. Then the other half is just the absolute dumbest shit I've ever seen, and it's <laughs> yeah. the best. All right, and it's like you go for that. Yeah, like that's like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the. Uh, that's like it's so it's cigarettes basically. Yeah, you're pretty basic, much. <laughs> you're like it's nice. It makes me feel pretty good for a little bit, and yeah. then it's just like endless, just pain. Yeah, and it's just you know, that's how you live sometimes. True, but I also I saw today that how okay how do you feel? Because I know you're a music music man. Yeah, Dua Lipa or Dua Lipa. Oh. <laughs> Need I say more? Not she's lovely. She's great. <laughs> she's beautiful. And she she makes great music. Yeah, I think uh, she's she's definitely the newest like the eye eye thing and like ear yeah. thing. I'll, I'll, Everyone, honestly, because don't everyone's like, oh. dude, eight Grammys. She got nominated for eight Grammys today. She already has today. two. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my God. For this year, wild. Yeah. Don't stop now. It's great. I mean, she kind of started like that whole uh, yeah. disco revolution mm-hmm. coming back into music, disco well, influence. That is honestly like I tell people when I like describe her, I'm like she's the Spice Girls distilled into one, and then combine that with like the Weekend, and then that's Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, is it? It's Lipa, right? I think it's Dua Lipa. I think so. But Dula, all I know is Dula Peep. A Dula Peep. That's what Wendy Williams calls it. What's the? Uh, <laughs> oh no! What was what was John Travolta when he couldn't pronounce Adina Menzel's name? He's like Adele Dazim or yeah. Adel <laughs> <laughs> the wickedly talented Adele Dazim. Didn't the next year that same award show she pronounced like his name wrong or something? I wouldn't doubt it. She got invited somewhere where That's he some was Hollywood like, shit. nominated for something, and she was like, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what she said. I think we can we can all acknowledge how John Travolta is falling apart at the seams. He like, looks like a like every every year is like just one more thing that I'm like, God, now <laughs> yeah. really, like for real, and like the whole Scientology thing. Come on, man, that's not. What if they're doing tests on him? I, mean, I wouldn't he's doubt their it. lab rat. Well, that's the thing. It's like he's been in that whole system for so long that he's like. Like, honestly, he's, like, not even a person anymore. Like, he's... John Travolta yeah. is, like, an idea of a man. Like, Bruce Willis, it's, like, the same thing. Like, what are they doing? Like, what do you do day to day where you're just Bruce Willis all day? Yeah. Like, I what's Bruce like, Willis at 6.30 p.m.? True. Like... <laughs> I feel like every, like, two or three years, one of them is in a movie that, you know... They're, like a side character in. Hold John Travolta more. Yeah. But Bruce Willis... Hairspray. Hairspray. I love hairspray. You do? Oh my god. Yeah. Hairspray's so good. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend like it's not. I, I don't know if I could delve deep into it, but I've heard good things from my girlfriend. She likes it. Hairspray's so like magical. I don't even know. <laughs> it, I like it's a, it it's a musical. Like, it is a musical. I like it because it's kind of stupid. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes it so good. <laughs> and does it I feel like it knows it's stupid. Oh, it, for sure. Yeah. Well, John Travolta is the character he is. Yeah, he and I plays think that's the mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edna Turnblatt. <laughs> um, should we just turn this into the hairspray episode? We can. Yeah, probably. Uh, okay, so Amanda Bynes was that her last good role? Amanda Bynes looks so good in that. It, Amanda Bynes. That was the last time that I remember her being a person. She looked like really healthy in that movie, yeah. and then shortly after that, it was, it was like. like it was like she fell off it's like, like the, puff thing. the steepest cliff. Yeah. And yeah. I mean. Lindsay Lohan, Freaky Friday, same deal. No, not exactly. But, you but know. Amanda Bynes is still funny. <laughs> that Amanda Bynes, she, does she now funny? Like, is she on uh, Twitter and stuff? I don't know. I can't say I don't follow her. But I love that she tweeted at Drake and said she wanted to suck his dick. <laughs> right. She that got that mine. Amanda show, man. True. That was a, that was a good one. But we're actually going to stop for a moment, and I'm going to reset this camera thing because I can only record for half an hour at a time. Okay. So that's, I set a timer, and uh, I'm getting a new camera, so things will be going. But right. I think this is going well. Are we getting in the groove? Yeah. Are, are, are we getting groovy? I got to yeah. re- redo that. But Are we getting groovy? We are groovy. All right. Uh, give us a we'll be right back whenever you're done sipping. <clears throat> And then do like a cue to the camera. 
Yeah, I don't know if people are going to like that. He's sipping water for you audio listeners that I haven't set up right Allegedly. now. Allegedly. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Are you tired of walking outside and not having people recognize that you're a fan of me? Well, change that as soon as you can because I have a Redbubble page and that's where all the merch is. So if you want a t-shirt, hoodie, socks, fucking soap, I don't know. I don't think they have soap, but check it out. Link in the description. Go to Redbubble, type in Minkflot, whatever you want to do. Just pay me for stuff. If you want, no rush. And we're back. What's up, everybody? Um, yeah, I, I'm going to get a new camera, but I told you that already because ugh, podcast. All right. Will. Will Rafter. Will. This is getting groovy. We've returned. Uh, also, if anyone wants to sponsor me, I'm uh, hit my line, I think. That's what the kids say. So I'll be here. Uh, Omaha Steaks. Anyone. I don't care. I threw. Do you think, did they, did they sponsor Peyton Manning? Omaha I think th- I think they did because he did the Omaha thing all the time. I have no he was like clue. Omaha, Omaha, like before, and then they were like, "Hey Peyton, you want some? You want some numbers in your bank account?" Hey Peyton, that was pretty good. Uh, why don't you come into the office? Yeah, <laughs> we'll <laughs> write something up for we'll, you. We'll we'll uh, grill something up. Yeah, we'll cook cook. <laughs> Cook up we, a deal. Yeah, why don't we grill up a little deal? Yeah, that's, we gotta we gotta pawn it up. All right, <laughs> it's just all grilling references. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't. We don't want to make you a uh, pre. We don't want to make you charred. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not gonna char you. We won't burn deal. you. We won't. Yeah, I'm not gonna burn you on this deal. All right, we'll move on. Uh, okay, so what I have for segments. Um, I might do just random things with different people, but yeah. I like, you know, I had some ideas. So we're going to go through them now. Um, first thing on the docket, I'll call cops are scary, like the police. True. Because they are. And I feel like everyone's had an interaction with them that mm-hmm. they would determine as scary or yeah. <laughs> a bit a bit anxiety producing. Yeah, I've had a So couple. I was going to say... If you would like to give me your craziest cop story, involvement with the police, I, mean, I feel I'm, like that would be entertaining. Yeah. I've never had, like, run-ins with the police. Well, like, like, getting pulled over. Like, it's yeah. the same thing. Uh, I remember there was one time when I was, like, maybe, like, 13, 14. Mm-hmm. I was walking with my friends to go to Tim Hortons on mm-hmm. uh, the Six Corners. Right. And uh, we were walking on the side of the road, and it looked sketchy because it was dark out, I guess. Mm-hmm. But a cop pulled in going, like, 40 miles per hour right in front of us and, like, Jesus. stopped instantly, got out of his car. And he's like, what the fuck are you guys <laughs> doing? And we were like, what the fuck is happening? And, like, 13-year-old me, I was like. Does he turn his lights on right yeah. before he gets out of the car? No, he didn't turn them on at all. No, he just walks out of his car. Yeah. He, I thought the we were fuck about are to you doing? So, so the police, I, I feel like pedestrians have the right of way, no? Is I, that... It was like nighttime, so I guess there's like... Well, it wasn't even the Why'd you wear in your reflective vest? But like, Excuse me. Fucking... That's like, the, the he, he uh, blamed the victim. Like, if he ran you over, he would have committed yeah. manslaughter. Why the fuck you guys scared of me? <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh my god. He's fucking six foot five, mm-hmm. like, towering over, yep. like, 13 year olds. It's like, you guys ringing fucking doorbells? And it's like... What? Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, we're walking to Tim Jesus. Hortons. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's that's the thing is like, what what are you going to do? Like, I'm just, can I live? Can I just like drive my car or walk in yeah. peace? Like, what is, what's, why do I have to like be on my toes all the time? True. Just because, I don't know. There's another notable story that I have. I mean, it's yeah. not like nothing big happened, but just makes me not like cops in general. Right. But, um. I'm sure several people share that sentiment, especially yeah. now, nowadays. But, uh. I called a cop because in my neighborhood, uh, a bunch of people's cars were getting broken into and like mm. shit was getting stolen out of them. Naturally. And I forgot to lock my car one night and I left mm. my, um, it was like a JBL speaker in there. It was yeah. like one of the, like the $160 ones. My mom got it for me for Christmas. Of course. And, uh, I called in to report it and a, uh, sheriff showed up 
and I was like giving him the report or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he was like talking to me like I stole it. I was like, <laughs> dude, I called you here. Like, why are you talking to me? Yeah. Like, this is all a scheme for you yeah. to get a new $160 JBL speaker. Cause that's like, Honestly. he's like, what do you want me to get you one? You yeah. fucking I'm son. not your dad. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, he tells you to driveway. <laughs> God damn it. God These damn fucking kids fuck. nowadays. Freeloaders. This fucking kid. You still live with your parents, you fucking nerd. <laughs> you fucking... I don't even know. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> you degenerate. Uh, yeah. I just... I, I was thought about that in the shower, and I was yeah. like, that could be a good... You mean every once in a while? But yeah, cops are scary. Cops are scary. I've never talked to a cop and not had like <laughs> a knot in my stomach. That's what I'm saying. And I think if if not at all, we can agree that cops are bad. Like, I mean, I obviously the ACAB thing, everyone's like, eh, police. I don't know if all cops are bad, but all cops are definitely scary. I think 100%. Yeah. They can mitigate that through their actions or they make it so much worse. But, you know. I think yeah. that's a good baseline for everyone to come at, come at this from. So that's why I made this Agreed. segment. Cops are scary. Cops are scary. All right. Uh, other than that, I have two, three other things. I have three other segments Sounds we can go like through. A plan. Uh, impressions. I figured you do some voices. <laughs> yeah. You mean you just fucking uh, act like idiots? <laughs> yeah. So I have a couple impressions here. Okay. I want you to uh, give it a shot. And if if you want, I can do it, but. This is primarily for you, because right. your will. Uh, okay, number one is uh, Marge Simpson. Marge Simpson? Yeah, Marge, you know, from The Simpsons. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going vocal vocal range here. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to embarrass myself. Yeah. that's the, yeah. This is what this podcast is about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a line? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I uh, say, uh, uh, the Lisa, uh, go help Bart, uh, fix Homer's butt plug. Oh, fix your father's butt plug. <laughs> Damn, this is a long time. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, go <laughs> help, <laughs> Lisa, go help Bart clean your father's butt plug. That's what oh, I, hold on. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> Wait, how did I hit that? That was good. You got it. Lisa. <laughs> Go help your father <laughs> clean his butt block. Go help Bart. Go help clean your father's. Go, Go help Bart. <laughs> clean your father's butt block. That was good. Do you want another try? If I could project <laughs> that, that'd be better, but I'm like. One more. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> homie yeah that was bad homie <laughs> that was kind of if, if right. you listen back on the audio yeah. I feel like that was kind of good because I heard it good in my mind that was good homie. I like that homie. I like homie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept Let's it move on to the next impression. I'll accept it alright next impression is uh, Barack Obama and I want you to say uh, er. these Mexican Americans are okay with me <laughs> okay. Mm. Or no, just uh, say I'm okay with the Mexicans in Barack Obama's <laughs> voice. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is this is the trials and tribulations of <laughs> doing yeah. an impression. Right. No, you gotta you gotta soak into it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to get the, the like uh, uh, Michelle. Uh, that was pretty good. Uh, so you got you know the line. The is? people of America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am on uh, great terms with the Mexican Americans. That was pretty good. Uh, that I think that's it. I'm sorry. I'm texting someone back because they called me um that's fucked up sorry uh so that that's pretty good though i mean do you want do you want another line do you want no a redemption want line for, on? for obama <laughs> all right jerry seinfeld <laughs> and your line is uh uh crick um uh kramer uh you can't 
use a driver's license to drive an uh, airplane. I, I, yeah, a driver's license doesn't let you drive an airplane. And you gotta say Kramer. Kramer. <clears throat> I don't know. So is that, I'm Kramer. Just... <laughs> Kramer. Kramer. No, he doesn't say Kramer. <laughs> yeah. Wait, does he say Kramer? No. Yeah, I, I think so. Kramer's a, yeah, the tall guy. Yeah, I I know. George Costanza. I'm just trying to think how he says it. <laughs> yeah. Kr- Kramer. Kramer. <laughs> you can't use. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use. You can't use. Kramer, you, you can't learn. use uh, a driver's <laughs> license for an airplane. Good. That's a good Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I'm just going to do that because I, I don't think I can do his voice. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think I can consistently project that high pitch. Like, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There, that works. That's That's good enough. Driver's license. Hey, want to hear my Jerry Seinfeld impression? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. All right. Jerry. Uh, Quinn Tarantino. <laughs> N word. <laughs> just N word. <laughs> That's all. Uh, let's see. You can you can say um <laughs> what your deck I don't fucking know what he sounds like Uh you can say <laughs> hmm. just say uh uh John Travolta is one of the greatest actors of this of any generation You got to say like John do with a cadence though and if you want, I can also do one. Does, I, I want to hear yours. Okay. Because uh, I need a, I needed a frame of reference. John. John Travolta is one of the greatest actors of this generation. Now, I'm not just talking about the greatest actor. I'm talking about the greatest of this generation. You know what I mean? You know what I mean about greatest? And the thing about the greatest is that you're not topped. That's the thing. And that's the thing about movies. Movies are like cupcakes. I don't know. That was, that was my Quinn Tarantino. So you're telling me John Travolta doesn't get topped? <laughs> he gets topped. <laughs> okay. But not not by another actor. Usually by a masseuse. John with Travolta. With a penis. No, but that's... <laughs> I don't think... John Travolta. John Travolta. <laughs> He's the Jane. greatest actor of our generation. Is that was that that was almost like Robert De Niro? <laughs> was it? I don't know. You know what I do? You know what I do when I talk about the greatest actor of the generation? I think about Robert. Yeah. Robert De Niro. You know what I do when I <laughs> too deep. You know what I do when I talk about no too Italian. That was. Yeah. You know what I do when I talk about no. Not Italian enough. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's the Italian meter. Is that... yeah. There's a very thin line <laughs> the De Niro. For, De, for De Niro's Italian. <laughs> and you have yeah. to... Yeah. It's like walking the knife's edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Matthew McConaughey. Uh, and you, I want you to say, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay instead of already. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. That's yeah, good. There you go. No. Say, uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. The, I, I got one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know the thing about... <laughs> what does he say in the movie? Which one? The thing about... Uh, is it... <laughs> it's something about Mary. I think that he's in that. No, it's like this first. Movie I think that's Ben Stiller. Actually. Where he talks about like girls walking by, and he's like, "They stay the same." Age. Oh yeah, that's what it is. What the fuck? They, they, say? they keep. Uh, I keep getting older, and they stay the same age. No, I keep getting older, and they just stay the same age. <laughs> <laughs> Be a I lot tell cooler you, if you did. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. What? I tell you what. That's a Tom Segura joke. I'm not going to take credit for that. What does he say in his commercials on his Instagram? The Lincoln. The Lincoln. It's not when you're, about when you're driving a Lincoln. It's about the feel. It's not about how you drive. 
It's about who you drive with. Because when you're driving with the one, you know it. You know that you're driving and you're going somewhere. Right. And you know it's where you need to be. <laughs> yeah. That's how he talks. When you're driving, you're, you're really driving. When you drive, you shift that gear. You shift the gear. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong side. You shift the gear and you go and drive. And you don't stop going until you get there. <laughs> that was a good one. I, I think that was your best one. I like Marge was Marge was solid, but <laughs> oh me, oh me. Uh, okay, Jason Statham. You you Ooh, got I, I could do Jason you do this Statham. one. Yeah, I do that one. This is in uh, you can find it in un- Undercover. Is yeah. a similar. You wanna you you got it? Yeah. Uh, no wait. Say um, uh, the these these trees are really beautiful. I love the scenery. These trees are really beautiful. I love the scenery. <laughs> I'll say, uh, I'd like a large number seven, no onions, with a uh, Coke, with with a Coke oh light God. ice. <laughs> I'd like a large number seven, okay. no onions, and a Coke with light ice. I'll have a large number seven, no onions, and I'll have a large Coke with light ice. Bitch. <laughs> now. <Yeah>. Now. <laughs> now. He's like... <laughs> Has he? I, right I don't, now. I don't think I've ever heard him yell. Jason Statham in a drive-thru is my new, uh, we can make a TikTok. We I feel like do Jason that. Statham in a drive-thru like, would just be really frustrated off the bat for no reason. And he's like, why well, you got so many fucking options, eh? Yeah, he like, he doesn't look at the speaker. He's just like, he turns his head a little, but like while keeping the same eye direction. So he's like, I'll have a number seven. <laughs> Hold the onions, and I'll have a large Coke with light ice. <laughs> light ice. Will that, be, will that be all for you today, sir? Yes. All right, pull through. It's, it's like... like <laughs> 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 you know, Just like a really, motorcycle. Really unnecessary. <laughs> well, can you can you go through a drive-thru on a motorcycle? Yeah. Is, have you seen anyone do that? Yeah, there's a guy who comes through my Tim Hortons on a, <laughs> mo- on a moped with his kid on the back, and he has his kid hold his coffee. That's funny. That's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is funny. But, okay. Uh, that was good. I liked, I liked that. We had a fun banter. Uh, Dolly Parton. Really good banter. <laughs> That's my Dolly impression. That's your Dolly. Dolly. Do also Dua Lipa. You gotta do Dua, Dua Lipa. She just has like a... Uh, just a regular British accent. She just sounds British. Yeah. Uh, Dolly Parton is just like an old Southern woman. Yeah. Oh, well, I... No, no, not that nasally. <laughs> that was a very old. Yeah. <laughs> More old. She has she like is. a high-pitched voice. I can't believe Southern people... <clears throat> Well, I can't believe in Southern people. Like, shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Say, uh, um, uh, I got a blueberry muffin for Christmas, and I just think that's all right. Oh, well, I got a blueberry muffin for Christmas, and I think that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I don't know how she sounds. I that was pretty good. I like I'm that. Like, I like that. Uh, uh, country woman. Southern Belle. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> she just has a regular voice. Like I don't. She doesn't have an accent. Hey, hey, sugar. How how would you like to come over to my apartment this evening? Yeah, that's she. She's how, always like fluttering. How would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, I don't think I can do a Beyonce. Could you do? Impression. Could you do Beyonce in the drive-through? No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll have a large Coke. No Sprite. True. If you're doing actress you do, Beyonce, no. She does no. <laughs> If you do actress Beyonce, then she's like, you'll run to a rest. She she always has like a, that's Pam Grier. She always has like a little accent when yeah. she acts, mm-hmm. like, but it's not like, like that uh, the telephone music video with Lady Gaga. Yeah, one of the cinematic peaks of our uh, human- oh, of humanity. Dream Girls. Yeah. Dream Girls was. Mm-hmm. I fucking love that movie. Good one. Really good. Well. They go nuts on the soundtrack. Oh, yeah? They go insane. Like, like, like Beyonce has created the soundtrack? Yeah. Because uh, isn't that, that's about the Supremes, right? Is that, or am I wrong? I think it is. Because, like, Diana Ross and all that? I think... I could be wrong. I don't know the history behind it, but... Yeah. I know that it's, like, based on something, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. About Dream Girls? Yeah. It's called, uh, they're a group called the Dream Girls. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
and it's pretty much just like their their journey through fame mm. and how they get like split up and shit. Right. And like the Jennifer, well, yeah, that's Jennifer Hudson's in that movie too, mm. and she's a fucking powerhouse. Mm-hmm. But she gets fucked over in that movie. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I mean that's in the music world. I feel like if you're making a movie about music it's, artists, yeah, especially like, at that time. Yeah, that time what was it seventies, eighties. I think it was before that. Oh, yeah. Because, like, it was right around when, like, disco was getting popular. Like, yeah. Because uh, mov- it's probably the Supremes then. Yeah. The movie gets into that, like, yeah. about, like, the disco music and how they have to, like, change their sound and how it's, like, not, like, what they used to be anymore. Mm. And, like, to be a black artist in that time period, mm-hmm. like, obviously they were, like, with the whole civil rights thing mm. that was happening at the time, right. they were, like, like late like, 60s re- relations were improving as much right. as they could during the time but... i mean that's like right now like re- like re- yeah relations going... are improving but yeah. like there's a lot going on so yeah like you know we're going through another civil rights mm-hmm. movement well rightfully so i mean and honestly this yeah. is all a long time coming well it's like a push like it, that's the thing it's like you're not gonna like convert everyone on your first like go around yeah so it's like you kind of I mean clearly we got so I mean, many white supremacists yeah still. like we we got to keep talking about it because it like we stopped talking about it i yeah. mean and that's the thing we didn't even like fully stop True. but like i feel like uh, like even in like landmark things that's happened like for the past 30 40 years like like the oj thing yeah and like there's been specific cases where it, there's a clear divide and generally it's from like race so and that's not to say that like the civil rights movement wasn't doing anything at that time but it was like not as loud as it was in yeah. like the 60s and now and you know but you still had those moments but i think we should move on because this is a little serious. Yeah. And I think I enjoy these conversations, but I've, I got two more things we can do. Moral of the story, I like dream girls a yeah, lot. Yeah, dream girls. <laughs> that, give it, give it a show off. Um, so I want to do a one-word story. We're getting close on time, so mm-hmm. we're going to yeah, pick yeah. it up. But I want to do one-word story. So they do this where it's like an improv game mm-hmm. where we create a story in one word at a time. So like I'm like John, and then you go... Had. Uh. Very. Good. Track. Of. Time. Because. He. Knew. How. To. Count. To. Ten. Backwards. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. That's that's how you... I, I mean, we just did it, but, you know. You want to do... Maybe we could do another one? Do you want to yeah. start it? <clears throat> when. Ever. <laughs> I <laughs> fall down the rabbit hole. I never thought I could be horny like this. <laughs> <laughs> the rabbit, I mean. It depends on what kind of when rabbit I, hole. When I fell down the rabbit, when I fell yeah. down the rabbit hole, I never thought I could be horny like this. Or no, whenever, or no, no, it's whenever I fall down the rabbit oh, hole. Yeah, yeah. I never knew I could be horny. We like changed the, the first part of this. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to do one more or move on? If you want to do one more, uh, cheese is always horrible. Whenever I insert. It into Johnny's hole mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good. I think sentence. that's it. <laughs> I think that's a good. What was sentence. it? What was it? Uh, cheese is horrible whenever, or cheese is horrible when I, or cheese is always horrible yeah, when is- I insert it in Johnny's hole mouth. <laughs> His whole mouth. Yeah, obviously, Johnny's probably got a gross mouth. Then you don't, yeah. you should eat the cheese first. <laughs> I almost went off topic. <laughs> it's fine. But <laughs> what's, the, what's their off topic? <laughs> I was on TikTok and I was watching this dentist's TikToks. Yeah. He has to be in bum fuck nowhere because these people have the worst fucking teeth I've yeah. ever seen. Like the plaque like grows down into their gums. Why do you watch that? I, don't I know. can't. I... 
I mean, I don't want to judge you. (laughs) I'd just watch him (laughs) obliterate it with like a water laser. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it's at least it's like power that power washing stuff. And then I watch. Oh, him by the way, put I it wanna, back on. I just want to let you know. I, w- I went on Instagram to. Oh my goodness, dude! <laughs> you gotta be fucking. Like kidding it's not me. fair. It's f- like frustrating. I don't know. <laughs> Her boyfriend looks sick. Her boyfriend. I don't think he's I don't up mean, to snuff. I don't mean like, like sick. I don't mean sick as in dope. I mean sick as an ill. <laughs> he looks gaunt. Yeah. He, like, yeah. I, I, I worry for him. <laughs> well, I mean, if he's out of the picture. She looks so healthy. I mean, like, if she's out of the picture, or if he's out of the picture, then I mean. True. Maybe sick. I don't want to root for it, but I want, I want them to have a good time. I'm not saying I want them to break up and, like, her to date me, but. Right. If that were to happen, if like, it did I mean, happen, who is it gonna? I know, mean, I could. Have, I'm not gonna object. I can have two girlfriends. I mean, I'm fine she, with that. She has her own life. <laughs> like, who am I to stop her from dating me? Right, exactly. And it's like I just want to allow that to happen. Yeah. Like it's you gotta let you gotta cast your line. You know. True. You gotta, and then she's gotta be in the water. True. You, you feel me? And that's that's what this podcast is about. Want to know what's wild when we talk about fish in the sea? Oh, what is that? What about that? We're also fish. What do you mean? Fish? Yeah, like... I don't know well, what you mean. Like, philosophically, what do you say? Yeah, like, when you talk about, like, oh, you bra- you broke up with someone, and they're like, oh, there's plenty of other fish in the sea. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how often girls say that to each other, but... Oh, right, like, fish don't hunt other fish. Yeah. Like, we're not... Like, I'm a part of that sea. I'm <laughs> just, not out of the just water a fish fishing. swimming up to the shore <laughs> and going on the dock. I'm like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> just a fish cannibalism. <laughs> Yeah, right just there. like a like a like Wanna a hunter go on a date with me. Yeah. <laughs> what fish, the fuck are you doing on the dock? Fish sitting on a dock with like a like a cowboy hat, <laughs> and it's and the, just like <laughs> it's the fish like uh, the SpongeBob fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up. <laughs> I just hit the mic. Yeah. Ma, 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 ma. Okay. Um. All right. To to finalize this, we have one question from Nate. Nate Spanish, oh God. and I think it it really uh, that, dude. it brings it back to how, like closing it out because yeah. I, I think this is the end. Um, when are we getting Lover Boy? When's that happening? <laughs> Damn, you kind of put me on the spot. Yeah, I I figured it would be, so that's why I was going to save that for the end. Yeah, I mean, I told the producers not to bring this up, but yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm not the producer. I am the product. I mean, I also produce it. <laughs> <laughs> but that, let's not talk about that part. Oh, lover boy. Yeah, so you're you're a music man. You do yeah. music. So what what do you... How's that going to go? I find that every time I try to, like, pin down an idea for it, like, a, uh, like, theme I want to go for, mm-hmm. it always changes. Right. Because like, I'll have one idea for it. Well, for reference, lover boy, I want... Uh, to be my next like solo album EP whatever um, but yeah every time I try to pin down like a theme or idea I have for it I always end up being like, nah, mm-hmm. like so it's kind of like ever changing it like changes with me uh, but that doesn't it, it just changes like month by month kind of that doesn't give me an answer though when this is my TMZ, this is my TMZ persona. When, when are we getting it? it? Give me a out, date. Dude. Give me a drop date. Uh, I'm the reason Cyberpunk was bad. This is this specifically. <laughs> I what I'm like the rendering. Speed. Honest, honestly, just stop asking them. It's gonna be done when yeah. it's done. Like, don't. It's, it's, it's wild. How stop. And we're back. Uh, sorry, this this camera can only record for thirty minutes, and I don't know where that ended off. But whatever you saw, I hope it was entertaining. You missed the more entertaining part, by the way. True. Because <laughs> we uh, we got into this whole thing. We we'll made a great joke, and then I like fell over. Yeah. This is actually two hours later. We just stopped laughing. Yeah, actually. From from what happened in that time. I just stopped sweating. Yeah, I just started sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, just now. Cameras heat back up. I'm like, <gasps> um, no, but you love her boy. That's that's yeah. what we were talking about. So, Loverboy. Just give me a quick, 
two minute spiel. This is your sound bite. All right. That like people are gonna search up like when's Loverboy coming out, and then they'll see this. Loverboy, like I was saying before, it is not concrete. It changes a lot in my imagination, mm -hmm. and um, so I'm not certain when it's going to come out. Fingers crossed this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Ivy League has a lot of stuff that we're working on right now. So that's going to take priority before I do that. But um, fingers crossed this year, Drake mm -hmm. stole my idea. Yeah, we, yeah uh, if that didn't. Drake's a leech. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Drake's uh, uh, I mean, um, Drake's <laughs> I, I love Drake. Uh, Drake's my favorite artist. Drake's uh, um, uh, an eel. He's like a... Not a I would, Drake's a beautiful eel that I'm, I want to put in my aquarium. <laughs> And he's electric. I don't believe in aquariums, actually. I lied. You don't believe in them? No. I could take you to one. No. They exist. I don't... Don't... I mean, I don't think so, but... They... Like, so you don't think aquar... You think aquariums are a myth? Is that what you're telling me? Like, there's not aquariums that exist in the world? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a knee slapper. Because uh, they do. And we all know this. And Niagara Falls has one. And I haven't been to it, to be honest. <clears throat> but I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't think. Am I ruining this bit? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is an aquarium. And... It might. I mean, maybe. Oh, what if it's like a Wiley e. Coyote thing? Where like they put it up and they're like aquarium and they're like signs everywhere. And then like when you walk up to the door, it's just all a big painting. Yeah. And you're like, there's not even door handles. And you walk into the wall and it's just like. <laughs> Well, <laughs> and then like the go Vsauce, the Vsauce music comes. It's like, yeah. Duh. you probably thought aquariums yeah. were blue. <laughs> Vsauce walks out of the wall. <laughs> you probably thought this was an aquarium, huh? It's, ap it's actually Michael an optical here. illusion. Yeah. <laughs> See, when you look at an aquarium from the side, it's not there, but with face on, it looks like a fully formed aquarium. This, yeah, that part of the Vsauce video is like the middle of the segment yeah. where you think he's explaining something that has nothing to do with the topic. <laughs> and then it's like, but aquariums represent infinity. Yeah, yeah, and what yeah. does infinity mean to us? Well, it's like. And who are us? What is anything? Who words talk? Hello. Speak language, goofa gapa boo. That's like yeah. part of, like, he'll just do that. And that's like at minute 47. And, and it's then like Jake from Vsauce Three comes. He's like in the background, and then they do like a point, and they're like Jake, and then they goes like ding. Wait, let's talk about AOC. Are we? Are we <laughs> <laughs> she's so hot. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know, man. She's dreamy. I'm. Uh, I don't know if I would go that far. I wouldn't put her in the dua, my Dua Lipa category. You just you you kind of felt this. It's the same energy there with those two. Dua Lipa is like. She's like Britney Spears for Britney Spears' time. Right. But like a, a better one, I think. I think Britney Spears... I feel like people would argue about you with that, but I agree with I'm her. sure, yeah. But no, I think she's like... I don't know. I don't know if... I don't know if I think Dua Lipa's just hot, or if I think she's like... Like, well, like a good music producer. Like, I, I really can't... Like, I enjoy the music, but I, I don't know if it like took mental like pro like genius like pro like i don't know you know what i'm saying yeah i know uh, it's like i don't know if she like, could make beautiful my beautiful like twist fantasy but like the song she has and she does it for me so and i like that i don't mean to interrupt you i think she is really talented because like i it's not i like, mean obviously yeah yeah obviously but like i don't like because I wouldn't call Britney Spears like a genius either. Yeah. But I feel like there's more to Dua Lipa than to Britney Spears. Yeah. Like, in my opinion, so I don't know. If I was only attracted to Dua Lipa, right. then I would only like watch the music videos or go right. on her Instagram. Right. But like, no, with, I have listened to, with, listened yeah, to with her songs. songs yeah. I can like listen to her album. Like, mm -hmm. I can just like put shuffle on her album and listen to it like that. Mm -hmm. So I think she also, is really that's talented. That's sacrilege a little bit. Oh, yeah. Throw shuffle on. You pick an album. You pick an album out, and then you hit shuffle. Yeah. That's 
that's crazy. Some people might not like to hear that. Well, first I delete half of the songs <laughs> off of it, and then I put it on shuffle. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's only the good ones? Yeah. All right. No, How do you feel about the baby? I like him. Mm. Uh, I mean, like... I just feel like he's not necessary in the success of that song. Oh, no, no, Like, no, he's no. just like, in, oh, okay, I guess the baby's on this one. Like, it, it was definitely just that. Like, yeah. I think it was like, look, we have another famous person on this song. Yeah, right. I think it's definitely that. Like, the mm-hmm. same with Jack Harlow. Although, mm-hmm. that had to have made right. him a unholy amount of money having Lil Wayne, Tory Lanez, and the baby. I've had so on many there. people bring him up in like the past like two weeks. Jack Harlow? Yeah. And he, I'm like, he's he, not bad. His new album is actually really good. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I fucking hate him. So. No, he's fine. <laughs> like I'm fine with it. He's hilarious. Too. It's well that probably helps. But I'm also so I like I don't know whether like, when I don't like something, I feel like it might sometimes be rooted in jealousy, and I don't know whether it is with him or not. Yeah. Like, I can't fully tell. But, like, there's a reason I'm like, eh. Like, what is this? What are I, you doing? It, I, I feel know. the same way, but not on, like, the level of, like, celebrities. Because yeah. celebrities, I'm like, they, are, they already made it. They're, like, up Well, there. I just want That's a living. Like, yeah. I, don't wanna, I just don't want to work at retail stores anymore. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I think he's doing better than me. And that's what I'm like. <laughs> Arguably. I, I, that's what I'm more yeah, saying. Yeah. I'm I like, think, this fucking, this guy. I think in terms of how much money he makes yeah. on my level, it's, it, it is above me. Mm-hmm. Who's to say where it is? So, exactly. Exactly. You know? Right. He could be making, you know, $16 per hour. You know. 20 maybe. 20 If he's getting a real good gig. Yeah. Yeah. But back to AOC. I was going to say, yeah. Hot damn. She's just beautiful. Okay. Well, what what do you want to do? Is that it? Are we do you wanna sum it up a little bit? How is your time here? I think that's about it. I mean I usually don't go too much longer than this. Yeah. So I had a good time. Yeah. Do you did you feel like we got in the groove? Yeah. Or get we, we got, got groovy? I feel like we uh getting in the groove. We're getting yeah. I'm, and we're back. We are, uh, we're not good at charging things or wrapping things up. True. Um, we could probably find just an unlimited power source for this camera. True. But, you know, dummy battery. Uranium. That was, <laughs> just just get some uh, isotope 47, yeah. whatever that is. Just get a uranium power cell. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Rig, Might as well rig it up on get, your camera. Get Elon Musk in here. Yeah. Elon Okay. Uh, I want to keep bringing up topics, but I know we I have know. to close it up. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Um, we'll have you on again. Okay. We could keep going. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like, this is, a, this is you know. But we got to close it out because it's about an hour. Um, what is, uh, what's your socials? Do you have anywhere people can find you if they made it this far? Uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, my Twitter is just Will Rapture. Uh, one word, capital W, capital R. It'll be uh, on the screen, I yeah. believe. Uh, my Instagram is just Will Rafter. Uh, and then f- the Ivy League page is Ivy League CLTV on Instagram. The boys. I think the same thing on Twitter. Yeah, CLTV. But I'm we'll, pretty sure. we'll fix it in post. We'll we'll find it out. I'll paste links. And they'll be in the description and whatnot. So whatever you want to do. Yeah, if you want to follow them, they make good music. They do Thank raps. You. Sometimes they do sings, but they always do beats. We do raps. We do chorizos. We they do. do. <laughs> we do. Do you guys have uh, quesadillas? Yeah. Do you have the crunchers, like uh, jalapeno crunchers? We're we're getting the crunch wraps in pretty soon. Crunch? No, like the crunchers, like the jalapeno, like with cheese and stuff. I don't believe in those. So you do. <laughs> Are we gonna give back? To <laughs> no, that's. A, I don't believe in having your crunchers topic right now. Because <laughs> we'll just get because <laughs> crunchers offend me. Yeah. <laughs> and I won't explain why. I can't. I'm not a crunch man. A year, ten years ago, my I was crunched, and it, it wasn't pleasant. Yeah, I don't really like the jalapeno crunchers. No. Yeah, so I stopped believing in them. <laughs> All right, it's well. we'll but let's wrap we're it done. up there. We're yeah, done. Let's wrap it up there. <laughs> All right. Is there anything uh, final you get to say? I, I don't want to take. Andrew Santino's thing, because he's like one word or one f- word or phrase into the camera, mm. and that's the end of the episode. But what's um, 
I'm gonna, no, what, you know what? I'm going to take it. That's what You get to end the episode, however you like. Or the word or a phrase, whatever you want to. You can do an action, make it different. You know? Or this this could be the end. I'll just uh, Just do, not, you remember Full Circle? That's how we started when you were yeah. doing a lot of. A yeah, lot of what? A lot of just. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> Did you not remember? What? <laughs> All right. That's all, folks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I think we'll edit it. Yeah. That was pretty good. It's a wrap.